Hi there, Toy here, and sorry about the awkward location, but I have what I hope will be a fun little video to share with you today. So I saw this video on and I'm gonna kick myself, I'm sure. I think it was on Travis Reed's channel. Uh, if that's wrong, I will correct it when I'm editing the video, and of course I will include a link below. And he did this video like literally, like I think like a month ago, but um, I've been trying to catch up to some stuff. I've been very busy, I've been sick, you know, life has been happening, so issues with my dog, and I've just, you know, not really had a chance to film a lot of videos. And I saw this one. I had saved it because um, I didn't get to watch it when it first came out. And I thought it was so cute. I wanted to try it. And so basically what this is, it's not really a tag. But, I mean, you could tag someone. I just thought it would be fun to share. And it is what's inside your bag. And so he literally, and he got the idea from someone else. So um you get your your bag or your purse whatever it is you carry and you show people what's in it and it's not meant to like be embarrassing or anything like this it's just meant to be you know interesting so i'm going to be sharing um my bag if you can see it anyone who knows me knows that pretty much since like 1995 i've only carried um backpack pur um backpack purses or some variation thereof um, there are two instances why you might see me carry a non-backpack purse. One, someone probably gave it to me as a gift, and um, I'm, I'm wearing it, you know, maybe because um, it's a special occasion. It, for me, even if someone gives me something as a gift, if it's not practical, I'm probably not going to carry it. So if I'm carrying it, that means that someone gave it to me as a gift, it was practical for me, and I probably wanted to wear it for that special occasion. The only other time that you might see me carrying like a cute little purse and it doesn't look very practical, actually I'm going to add a third one to this, is if say I'm at like a like like an award ceremony or like a ball or something like that that's not going to happen very often you know you're not going to see me walking to 7-eleven for something like that so that's why i'm adding this third contingency if you do see me carrying like a dainty cute purse and i'm not going to a ball someone has kidnapped me and i need you to come save me so Therefore, I'm usually carrying some kind of backpack purse. So we are going to open it up and see what's inside. I'm going to start with this little front pocket. And it looks like there's two, but there's not. I, I hate the fact that so many women's products come either with no pockets or fake pockets. I don't know what there's about. But there's some dude somewhere probably laughing in his grave because he started this trend where you give women fake pockets. I don't know. So anyway, inside my front pocket, um, I did not stage this. I just want to go ahead and say that I'm just showing you what's normally in my purse. But because I knew I was going to shoot this video, I did put two items in the purse my cell phone because normally I have my cell phone sitting right next to me but for the purpose of this I wanted you to know that my purse is usually in that little front pocket so that I can get to it easily um you might have noticed the I'm using a different little Batman cover I have two Batman covers and a Wonder Woman cover and I pretty much alternate those three let's see what else is in my front pocket okay oh I've got some pens I always try to have at least two pins on me in case one clunks out on me and then when I have a chance I'll replace that one um, you never know when you might need to write something so this one I believe my sister gave me it's a little I think a little inexpensive pen she probably got from like the dollar store or something and it's got a T on it and I like it I like the grip too because it's nice and fat and this pen is my I don't know if you can see it my lighting is horrible this is my insecure writers support group pen and I ordered it and I got two of them and I was so excited so one automatically went into my purse so that I could show it off to people. I love the Insecure Writer Support Group. They have helped me through so much as a writer and so I always thought it would be really cool to have those pins. And 
the next thing that I usually have in my front pocket are business cards and appointment cards. Um, I meet people at different places and I grab business cards. Usually the um, business cards end up coming out. I just haven't had a chance and they go somewhere else specific. And um, it's just a way for me to like, you know, network with people. So moving this along so it hopefully doesn't drag out too much, I'm going to open the main compartment. All right, so and you probably can't see this. Maybe I should take a picture of it with my phone and I'll include it in the video just to give you an idea, let's see, of what the inside compartment looks like. Can you see the two little pockets there? Okay, there's a pocket there. Hold on, let's see. All right, so there's two little pockets here, a pocket here, and then the main cavity. All right, so in the two little pockets, I have um, this little um, bag I got from an Asian store. I forget the name of it, but it's a little knickknack store. I like going in there. And only thing I pretty much keep in here are my earbuds because I got tired of them falling out and getting lost. Enough. So I literally bought a bag just to keep my earbuds in. And then in the next little pocket, I have my little pill case. And I know that probably sounds weird, but um, it's purple flowers. I got the purple flowers for two reasons. One, I really like purple. And I figured if I take it to work, it'll match my current school colors. And inside it, I just have like Benadryl, Tylenol, Advil, stuff like that. So let's dive into the main cavity with the first item that I just put into the purse um, just because that's where it would be while I was normally out and that is my Kindle since I'm at home normally it's right here next to me in case I want to look something up or you know read a book or whatever and so I always have my Kindle with me the next thing is my makeup bag and the only thing that's in my makeup bag are my lip scents lipsticks because that's pretty much the only makeup that I wear. I don't really wear, um, I don't wear foundation, concealer, eyeliner, eyeshadow, all that kind of stuff. I probably should, you know, look into it. It's just not really me, but I love the lipstick. So that's always with me. Um, eyeglasses because even though I can see the camera right now I can't read any of the words on it. I know it's a logic tech camera because I that's where I bought it but uh, I have to have glasses with me at all times because I can't read anything I'm not signing anything that I can't read you know so I always have my glasses with me um lotion should always have some kind of moisturizer on hand you never know when that might save your life <laughs> I don't know about that but I always have moisturizer on me. This little bag, um, I believe my sister gave me this bag. I am not going to open this. I think this is a whole other video. I'll just let you know that this is, I normally have like my rescue inhaler is in here, emergency tissues. I think I have a pencil sharpener. It's just a bunch of stuff that I didn't want roaming free in my purse. So it's, it's in this bag. All right, moving along. My wallet. Most people have seen my Batman wallet. I need to get another one because I've been wear carrying this one for so long. I think it's starting to fall apart and I don't want it to fall apart. I don't want to say goodbye to my Batman wallet. But there's my wallet. And then let's see what else I have. Oh, baby wipes. I <laughs> this is my dog. Um, I always keep baby wipes on me. You never know when you might need to freshen up during the day and you can't get to a, a lavatory. So... This next item is a little unusual. I'll show you what it is. It's a book. Um, it's a graphic novel of The Raven by um, Edgar Allan Poe. And the reason why it's in my purse is I always try to keep at least one print book in my purse at all times just in case something happens and I'm somewhere and I'm stuck, I'm bored or something, the battery's running low on my Kindle or what have you, you know, I might be in a situation where there's a bunch of people sitting there, someone else is bored, I can hand them something to read. Anyway, um, I don't usually have, oh, Margie, <laughs> um, I don't usually have a book this big in my purse. This just happens to be what's in there right now because I literally just bought it from Barnes & Noble. It was on their bargain bin. So um, there's that. Let's see, what else I have? Oh, that's everything in the main cavity. 
let's see what's um, inside the little pocket. I have a little notebook. You might need to take notes. Sharpie. I don't, I don't think you should leave the house without a Sharpie. Tape. Don't leave the house without tape. Cough drops and change. Hope you can hear that. So that is everything that is in my bag. Um, the only items that are currently missing that I usually have with me at all times is a jacket. I know I pulled out a bunch of stuff from this bag and you're like, you can fit a jacket in there too. Yes, people. Every time I leave my house, there is a jacket in this bag. It's just on the back of a chair right now because I'm inside the house. So there's usually a jacket in there. You going somewhere, Margie? You going somewhere? You want to say hi to everybody? Margie, say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, so anyway, um, so yeah, normally there's a jacket in here. And not in this bag because it's not big enough that I do I have an umbrella. But there are other bags where I've stuffed an umbrella in. So that's what's inside my bag. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it didn't make me look too crazy or neurotic. I like to be prepared for things, and I think that's why they, I have that much stuff in my bag. Um, I don't see how women put all of that stuff in those shoulder bags and carry those around. I would have so many bag problems. But, you know, to each his own. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And because there's some stuff going on in the main room of my house. I think the next two or three videos that I'm going to record are going to have to be from this location. I apologize. I will be back in front of the uh, record player soon, but that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.